This tool is seriously the ultimate AI tool. This tool allows you to run things like Stable Diffusion, Comfy UI, Focus, Open Voice, Face Fusion, and so much more. And it can all be done on your computer for free. This is by far one of my favorite tools to play around with and has been made playing with AI so much more enjoyable and simpler and easier. You don't have to mess around with coding and installing things. It just does it all for you. So let's get into the video. The tool that I wanna to showcase today is Pinocchio. It's basically like an all in one for downloading AI libraries and they make it super easy and super intuitive. Honestly, there's not enough buttons in my opinion. It's very minimal, but as it says on their website, install, run, control bots, servers, AI stuff with your computer with one click. There's some tutorial videos on here and then it has a list of everything you can do with Pinocchio. And they have all the good ones like Video Crafter, which lets you make videos, text models, face fusion, photo maker, videos to pose, voice cloning, image generation, Focus, Stable Diffusion, Comfy UI, Editing Images, Real-Time Stable Diffusion, SDXL Turbo, Illusions, more voice cloning, all kinds of good stuff in here, even some audio generators too, and a bunch of other ones down here that you can play around with too. I'll have a link down in the description below to where you can get started with Pinocchio, but basically you're just gonna come on over to the downloads page and then pick your version and install it like any other program. I'm on Windows, download the installer here and install it like anything else. It literally only takes two seconds, but once you get it installed we brought to something like this and now I already have a couple of AI models already installed on my computer and I can't actually zoom in on this so it's gonna be kind of zoomed out for this video also I do have it in dark mode so you might have to change yours to dark mode if you want stuff like this but all you have to do is just come on over to this discover tab up here and then you're brought with a very similar window to what we saw over on the website where you can install any of the AI packages here. So like I said, things like Stable Diffusion, things like Focus, Comfy UI, Invoke AI, Video to Pose, Photo Maker, Face Fusion. I know a lot of people have been having trouble getting Face Fusion working. This is a super simple way to install it on your machine. There's literally no coding, no anything. From here, all you have to do is just click on what you want and then just click on download. And what it will do is it'll bring a new window Window here and ask you to save it inside of your Pinocchio downloads folder. All you do is just click on download. I've already done it, so I'm not going to install it again. But once you do, you'll be brought to a window like this. It's a very simple window. You'll have just your files on the left here. It should just say files and then install. All you have to do is just click on the install button and then wait for it to do its thing. Most packages are pretty large because once again, you are downloading basically full AI models for each one of these packages. So expect it to take around 20 minutes for each package depending on your internet speed. And they'll be brought with a couple menu items on how you can interact with your models. And each one is a little bit different, but they're all kind of the same thing. There's usually like a launch button or like a start button. It just depends on how the package was made. But for this example with Face Fusion, once you have it installed, I already have it installed, you're met with these three options here to launch default, benchmark, or webcam. I'll just start with launch default. And all you do is just click on it and then it will run the program like you would actually run it on your computer, like how I did in my other video where you have to install it and then get it running manually. This just does it in a super friendly UI. So it spins up the server here and we can see it running on local URL 127.7860. And we can either do two things from here. We can either open this URL and it'll bring us to a very similar Face Fusion interface here, or we can click on the open session window right here and it'll bring us to the same window, but inside Pinocchio. So you can do this all inside the same program. Let's test it out and see how it works. So I've got this picture here of Elon Musk and I'll take my last thumbnail photo and see how it works. Works. That's absolutely terrifying. Oh my God. Specifically with Face Fusion, what we can do to make this better is just click on Face Enhancer and give it another run. And okay, it makes it a lot better. So it smoothed out the face a lot. I'll take this picture of Joe Biden. And there we go. We have Elon Musk here. Let's do me instead. Oh my God, me as Joe Biden. Jesus Christ, that is terrifying. Pick Sam Bakeman free. Oh my God, my computer is lagging so much. That is scary. That actually like looks like me too, which is super weird. I hate this. What you can even do is pop in some other AI generated images. So like I have this one here that I made in one of the other programs and then we can use Face Fusion on top of it to make it really look like me. And I don't know, kind of changes some stuff, maybe like a little bit of the mustache kind of, but you get the idea. It's basically Face Fusion inside of Pinocchio. But I want to show you a couple other ones that we can download. So I'll head back to my homepage here and let's try out another one. So I want to try out, we'll try out Focus. So this is basically like a regular Focus. It'll also take around 20 minutes to install. And then once you get it working, just click on the start here 
here and you have your three different modes you can run. I'm gonna pick on the realistic mode and then it will once again spin up a server here for us. Okay, so it has to re-download focus, that's fun. In the meantime, what we'll do is we'll play with something else. So I'm gonna try out the illusion diffusion and this one's real fun. I already have this one installed as well, but once you do, I'll click on launch. And once it's running, we click on open web UI and it gives us a little interface here. Play around with illusion diffusion. So all we have to do is pick on our illusion here. So I'm gonna go with this circle one and then we'll just type in medieval city. I think I spelled medieval, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, medieval city. Look at that. Isn't that sick? Then from here, you can just click on the download button if you want it and download it to wherever you need to. Let's try out a couple more here. I'm gonna go with erupting volcano. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Although it kind of messed up the smoke here. It's not terrible. It's okay. I'm gonna do riding a bike in a jungle. This is trippy. You can really see the circles in this one. Let's try the squares with the same prompt. You can even add in a negative prompt if you want. I'm not gonna get super into the nitty gritty of this one, but you can play around with this as much as you'd like. Okay, this one wasn't that good. Let's try something else. I don't know about that one. Let's change the illusion strength to be a little bit higher. What this one's actually doing is it's generating in the squares and then it fills in the rest of the image on top of it. So yeah, that's probably too much. But if we took this down maybe to like two, uh, a little bit more. Okay, it's coming together. Let's try just like one. Okay, so it's more of a square there. You can really see the lines. We'll do haunted house at 0.99. Okay, you can kind of see the squares there. What if we bump this up a little bit more? You really see the squares in this one now. We'll do town on a cliff and click on run. There we go. That's fun. Look at that. I can play with this all day, but you get the idea. You can install this and just play with it right in here. No coding required. Let's head back home. Also, if you want to close these out, you have to go into the server here where it's running and then just click on stop here and that will stop the server. So you can see it removed it from the running tab up here. I want to try this one out. It's called L edits plus plus and it basically allows you to use prompts to edit things inside of images with stable diffusion. So I just click on run here, open web UI, maybe give it a refresh. So I'll add this picture of a car here and then I'll just say green car and then I'll click on add and then just click on edit your image and this hopefully should turn the car green. Okay, that didn't work as well as I would have liked. Let's try bumping up the concept guidance and let's change this again. Uh, still not quite there. Let's try this again. Okay, it's kind of doing it. What if we add in like no clouds? Add that there and try to edit it again. Okay, so it's turning it more green. Still not the best though. I have this picture here of a person off Google. I'm just gonna say sunglasses as the suggestion prompt suggests. And we'll turn it down a little bit, edit image. Okay, yeah, it's not great. Probably fine tune it to get a little bit better. Maybe turn it down a little bit. Okay, a little bit better, a little bit better. But you get the idea. Let's move on to something else. I'll just close out of this here. Let's try open voice. This one I've had mixed results with. I already installed it once again, so I'll just click on start. It'll run a kind of a local terminal again. And a second here, there we go. We have a new link. I'll open the web UI. So it gives us this text prompt here and let's just give it a shot if we just test it with the reference audio oh and accept the terms and conditions he hoped there would be stew for dinner turnips and carrots and bruised potatoes and have you uh become expert in the yeah it's okay it's not great it's definitely not as good as something like 11 labs but hey it's free and it's local on your machine so like it's not the end of the world okay so i have this eight minute audio of just me talking um, for one of my other videos that i made but let's see how it sounds so I'll just click on send again. He hoped there would be stew for dinner, turnips and carrots and bruised potatoes and fat mutton pieces to be ladled out. And okay, thick. it's not bad. It's okay. It's not great. It works. You can change the style here too, so we can also make it like, I don't know, cheerful. Let's see if that makes a difference. He hoped there would be stew for dinner, turnips and carrots and bruised potatoes. Bruised potatoes. You get the idea. Let's move on. I want to try Video Crafter too. So this is like a real rudimentary text to video AI. I already have it installed, so I'll just start it up again. And once it's done, we'll get the web UI and we can just type something in and see what it is. I really like the ones where it's people eating because you get some really cursed videos, but we'll do a man eating a slice of pizza. Click on send. There's a couple options you can choose from like the sampling steps, the FPS. I wanted to show you guys from earlier, I got this video of a man eating a taco and it is cursed. I mean, like it's almost there. The taco is there, but like his face, it kind of like stretches it out a little bit. Like I'm not, yeah, it's, 
Oh, it is scary. It's not quite there yet, but it's getting there. It is getting there. Okay, so Video Crafter actually crashed my computer for 10 minutes. So um, yeah, we'll move on. Focus actually ended up finishing and downloading. So let's check this one out too. And if we wait a second or two, we get the web UI and it's basically like Focus as you know it. We can use an input image here and add some input images or we can click on the advanced tab and change some more settings here. We'll just type in a fire truck. My computer absolutely hates me today, but you get the idea. It prints out images here just like any other AI image generator but it's all local and free on your machine this really is the ultimate AI tool to play around with all of the AI models and programs and it's all on one easy to use platform no need to code anything no need to install anything but that's gonna do it for me in this video if you guys liked it make sure to like comment down below what do you think of Pinocchio are you gonna be using it I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below but if you want to play around with other AI language models specifically you can check out this this video here where I talk about Jan, which is a local chat GPT alternative that you can run on your computer to run all of the latest and greatest AI language models. It's like chat GPT, but it's all on your computer and it's completely free. So I'll see you guys over in that video.